Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about novellas that are on Kindle Unlimited. This is a wonderful collaboration with Samantha from Books with Samantha. I absolutely adore her, and we have so many similar tastes in romance books, especially when it comes to novellas. We are both novella fiends. We eat them up and I love talking to her about them. We decided to make this also specifically novellas that are on Kindle Unlimited as well because there are just so many novellas that are on there. Also, be sure to check out Samantha's video. It's gonna be linked down below for you to get even more recommendations. I also have previous videos for novella recommendations if you wanna check that out too. Those will be down below. However, not all of those I don't think are on KU. But these ones in this video are. So let's get started. The first two I have are from the same author and they're recent reads of mine. The first one is Meet Me at the Anvil by Kate Pryor. This is a historical romance standalone. So our heroine here, Diane, has a chronic fainting condition. And so there's not a title for her condition because back in the day there wasn't really a way to diagnose people with like conditions like mine, like POTS where you faint. So maybe she had POTS, maybe she didn't, I don't know. But I loved that representation in here. I thought it was great. Anyway, she is engaged to be married to this guy she doesn't really care for, holds no passion to what's Whatsoever, but she's kind of been forced into this marriage, you know? She has feelings for the guy's best man though. Like she is fully swoony hardcore over him, but she thinks that he's like so beautiful and amazing. And she's so plain Jane, he won't ever think twice of her. She ends up fainting in a very inopportune moment. She ends up fainting <laughs> when she's saying her wedding vows to this guy and she faints, she wakes up and realizes, I can't marry this dude. Like, no, it's not going, it's not going to go well. And so she, becomes a runaway bride. She runs away from the wedding. The best man ends up chasing after her and traveling with her to possibly Scotland. On our journey there, he tries to convince Diane that he actually has feelings for her. This one was so fun. I really liked it. A great standalone historical romance. There's also a fainting goat in here, which was really cute. And they're just traveling across England and staying in an inn together. It was just, it was great. I really enjoyed this. Believe it or not, the same author wrote this book, Love Laugh Lich, which is a monster romance. I was very surprised when I realized this was the same author as the other book. This is also a workplace romance that was highly entertaining. So Lily is our heroine in here and she's a personal assistant to Sovin. And it's a little bit unconventional because Sovin is a lich. It's like a demon creature being a monster essentially. And he is the CEO for like this evil company. <laughs> and she's his personal assistant. And they've been working together, I wanna say for maybe like five years. Everything changes one day when she forgets to knock on his door, when she walks in with his morning coffee and she finds him in a state of undress in his office. She's like, Oh no, I'm so sorry, runs away, out the door, <laughs> and is mortified. Things change after that because they can't stop thinking about each other afterward, and that entails maybe some time in the office together alone, if you get my drift. <laughs> this one was highly entertaining, a great monster romance. You know me, I love monster romances, so I gotta talk about them in this video. So it was also so sweet. You wouldn't expect this monster creature on the cover to be sweet, but he totally was. I loved it. I thought I'd mention two Jessica novellas. I haven't read Jessica in a while, but these are two of my favorite. My top favorite from her is King Sized. I can never not talk about this book. Our heroine Britta in here is um, a princess, well now a queen. Her parents, both of her parents just died, so she inherited their titles. She is now queen of the land. And this book takes place directly after her parents' funeral. She is crying, sobbing in her room and Rex is one of the many bodyguards who is stationed outside her door to protect her. He is hearing this woman cry and he is so upset. He's like, is no one gonna go in there and console this woman? She's completely alone in there. No one else will volunteer for the job but him. So he goes in there to console her. He's like, screw it. If I lose my station, it's fine. Like, I'm just trying to make this girl feel better. She is eternally grateful for him coming to care for her and has not stopped thinking about him since. And the two of them get into some steaminess together and she tries everything to make like Rex her personal bodyguard so she can have alone time with him. I adore bodyguard romances and this one was just great. I loved it. There's also like an age gap romance in here and Britta, even though she's quite innocent, takes a more dominant role and it was hot. It was hot, it was good. Another Jessica Kane one is Breaking the Bully. I know Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings absolutely adores this one. Rachel's also another friend of mine who you need to go to for novella recommendations, just saying. Anyway, so she loves Breaking the Bully. She got me to read it because uh, she was like, it's the only bully romance I really like. I don't like bully romances. And I was like, okay, 
I don't like bully romances either, so you better be right, Rachel. And I better like this one. And she was 100% correct. I trust Rachel with everything. This is a romance between Moore and Allie. So during their early years of high school, the two of them were um, pining for each other all of the time. Basically, Moore goes out on a limb to kind of admit his feelings for her. But afterward, Allie stops talking to him and he is pissed. He starts bullying her in school and is bound to like make her life a living hell essentially. But then Moore realizes the reasons why Allie stopped talking to him and he is mortified. He begins the ultimate grovel and just wants another chance with her. This is the only bully romance that I really liked. So take with that what you will. This was great. Short warning in here also for domestic abuse before before you dive in, just by the way. Next, I have a whole series for you. I've read all of the books in this series. This is the Big Boy series by Cassie Mint. They can all be read as standalones. They do not correlate with each other at all. They just have a common theme of having a hero who's a little bit thicker, you know, love it, love seeing that. Um, and so I thought I'd go through the books in this series very quickly, there's eight. Um, and so I thought I'd just give like little one-liners or two about each one. So first one is Big Boss, which is an age gap romance between the heroine and her roommate, college roommate slash best friend's dad. And they're stuck together in the same house. Loved that one. That's like one of my favorites. Big Biker is about um, the heroine who's been in a very sheltered life who falls for a biker dude. Big Boxer is about a heroine who falls for her all-time sports like crush she had posters of him when she was young on her walls um he's like a very prolific boxer but she ends up becoming a journalist later on in life and ends up writing a bad review about his recent performance and he goes to her house to figure out how she knew that and to confront her basically big baker is about a um service cleaning lady at this hotel falling for the chef there that one's just so cute then is big bet which is a favorite with my friends i loved this one this is a friends to lovers between a i believe dancer at a uh casino in las vegas and one of the blackjack dealers and yeah they are roommates and they're friends and they live together and they finally admit their feelings. Big Bratva is a mafia one. Um, the hero's brother ends up kidnapping this girl and putting her in his brother's house or the hero's house and telling the hero to take care of her, but he ends up falling in love with her instead. Book seven is Big Beast, which is one where a chef wrongly fires the heroine from who's a waitress at his place and goes to apartment to apologize and take care of her because she's sick. Book eight is one between a professor and his student and they go on a trip together to Scotland, like a class trip and things happen between the two. I absolutely love this series. They have no correlation with each other. So you can jump around if you want. My top favorites would definitely be Big Bet and Big Boss, but I really liked all of them in general. Another casting man that I'd love to mention is Pool Girl. This one is another age gap romance. This one is centered around Elsie who just loves to swim. She actually has a job where she is kind of like posing as a mermaid in this aquarium for like kids. It's so cute. Um, so she takes every chance that she gets to be in the pool and she has a pool in her apartment complex and she just gets on a float and floats all day long on it after work. And she loves it also because the pool is right next to the um, apartment caretaker's office. And he has a window that looks out into the pool and she has a huge crush on him. He's this big guy covered in scars. She's a veteran and thinks that no one as beautiful as Elsie would ever love him. So he's never even taken a shot at her, but she's trying so hard to get him to notice her. But then something happens to where Tanner, the hero is like, screw it. I'm gonna make her mine. So love this one. Next I have Dad Bod Wingman by Carla Doyle. There's apparently like a bunch of books in this Dad Bod like series kind of. I think it's just, again, like the big boy series. It's just about like thicker men falling in love with women. Love it. Um, but the series is like written by different authors. So I definitely need to go check them out. So this is Carla Doyle's addition to the series. This one's about Jensen and Bailey. They are childhood friends that have basically always been pining for each other. But then Jensen moves back to his hometown and runs into Bailey again. This time when he sees her, he gets up enough courage to finally ask her out. And she says, yes. He was super surprised when she says yes. And he's even more surprised to find out that she has been pining for him just as long as he has. This was just a super cute, but very hot. <laughs> 
<laughs> Very hot friends to lovers romance that I just love. Next is a historical. This is The Chasing of Eleanor Vane by Sarah Simone. This one is so interesting. So our heroine in here is engaged to be married to this guy. This guy is not that great. He's kind of like the typical frat boy dude who just wants to get with women all day long, doesn't really care about the heroine, whatever. She doesn't really care about him either. But then she ends up meeting this guy's uncle named Ajax. And the moment they clash eyes, dang, are they both smitten. But Ajax is finding it very hard to like actually make Eleanor his because she's number one engaged to his uh, nephew. And number two, there is a large age difference between the two. But then Eleanor might run away from the wedding and Ajax goes to find her because she ran away in the pouring rain in the moors of Scotland, you know? And he's trying to go save her to make sure she doesn't die um, and takes her to a cabin on the estate and they spend some fun, fun time together. I have another monster romance for you. This is Little Green Vines by Britt Andrews. And oh my gosh, this one is so good. It's a sapphic monster romance. It's, I think I've only read two sapphic monster romances and I need to find more. If you have any wrecks, leave them down below. So the human heroine in this book, she owns this cottage on the edge of the woods. She's been kind of warned her whole life, don't go into the woods. It's evil, it's dark, you could die. And so she's never been into the woods, but she has this garden she takes care of. I think she ends up finding like a little creature, a cat or something that's lost. And, and it ends up walking into the woods. She's like, okay, I gotta go find or save this cat. Fo like follows it all the way through the woods. Turns out it was an illusion made by this monster and she wants this human woman so bad. It's been watching her for so long and is finally gonna make this woman hers. Oh my gosh, it was so hot. And the last one that I have has a long title, okay? But this is an alien romance. This is how my boring life was completely derailed and I was absolutely derailed by two big alien dudes from outer space. <laughs> I don't know why ML Eliza decided to make this title that long, but she did. ML Eliza is a great, great novella writer. Please go check her out. Um, this is just one of them that I really enjoyed. This one's about a human woman who is abducted from Earth by this alien king, and she ends up hooking up with the king and the king's bodyguard, who are already in a relationship, basically. The bodyguard and the king are together, and they want her to, like, be with them. So it's an MMF romance. This was so good. It was so fun. So hot. We also have thicker heroes in this one. I love it. I love seeing it, especially on the cover. Like, yes. I do wish this was a full-length book, but this was a really fun novella overall. Anyways, there you have it. Those are some novella recommendations for you that are on Kindle Unlimited. Please be sure to go check out Samantha's video. I cannot wait to see what recommendations she has. Please comment down below if you have any recommendations that are on KU that are novellas for me. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a plant emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day.